And welcome back, rugby fans, to Rugby 411. As always, I'm your host. My name is Joshua Shibata. And this is our pickums, our Super Brew pickums for MLR week number 10, as well as we will check out our Rugby 411 MLR Super Brew pickum leaderboards and results from last week's uh, picks. Uh, I did better than last. I think everybody did better than last week. But uh, some people did really, really well. Uh, I didn't do so great. But let's talk about this upcoming week of games. Um, everyone's playing except for the Utah Warriors, who recently just parted ways with their head coach, Sean Pittman. Uh, we have no games on Friday. We have games on Saturday. So let's start. Again, another early morning start time for us West Coast fans, Saturday, April 9th. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going back to the York Lions Stadium where the Toronto Arrows are once again at home hosting Oh Glory DC. Um, you know, it was a heartbreak that they lost their first game. Oh Glory came very close to winning their game um, recently. You know, as much as they looked better, um, the Arrows, I feel, are a better team. And again, home field, uh, granted, they lost last time. But I feel that that would just motivate the Arrows to pick up that win, their first win at home in a very, very long time. Uh, moving on, uh, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are back at Quincy, um, the Veterans Stadium in Quincy, uh, Massachusetts. Free Yaks hosting the Seattle Seawolves, the two-time MLR uh, champions coming off of a bye. Um, Seattle has not been looking very consistent. Free Jacks have been looking as one of the best teams in the league. Home, um, I feel Free Jacks will take this one rather easily. Moving on, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we go to the gold mine, New Orleans. Nola Gold hosting your no new number one in my power rankings team, Rugby. ATL. Now, again, uh, NOLA at home, they have not been good at home at all this season. ATL is looking better after dropping a few games, are now back on a win streak, big win against Toronto. I feel Atlanta will continue the momentum and take the victory. And moving on to the last game of Saturday, also 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are going to Viva Stadium in Houston as they will be hosting their other Texas rival, the Dallas Jackals, uh, a continuation of the Texas competitions between all three teams. Houston got beat up pretty badly by Austin uh, last week. Uh, I feel Dallas is a completely different team. I think Houston will be able to bounce back with this victory and win against the Dallas Jackals. Now, then we move on to our Sunday competitions. Uh, Sunday, April 10th, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at San Diego State Sports Deck. Austin Hill Gronies take on the San Diego Legion. A very important uh, game in the Western Conference standing between the top two teams in the West. Um, you know, as much as San Diego has looked better than usual, Austin is uh, coming back from, you know, a couple of losses uh, they looked much, much better after their bye week uh, with their performance uh, last week. I feel they will continue riding that momentum and they will take out San Diego, even though San Diego's at home. And then the last game, the best game, save for last, 4 p.m. on Sunday, April 10th, the Battle of the Coasts. L.A. Giltinis with the world-famous Coliseum as the background hosting Rugby New York. Um, this is not for the Champagne Cup as much as it, we wish it would be. Uh, the Champagne Cup is held by Rugby New York. The way that uh, Derby Cups work, you have to win the cup at the home stadium of the, vict of the person who holds the cup. So the only way that L.A. can get the Champagne Cup is they have to beat Rugby New York at home. At Rugby New York. So... Uh, no Champagne Cup on the line, but still a very important game uh, between two teams that are battling for spots in their respective conferences. Again, the last time that these two teams faced, LA took the long trip over to New York, got manhandled by New York. 
I feel it's going to be the same outcome reversed as New York has to take the long trip to LA. I feel that LA is going up as well. Um, players are coming back healthy. Uh, the addition of Tom Mitchell, um, the addition of Joey Talfete, uh, the Eagles player who is now their new hooker. Um, just everybody's kind of getting better and more gelled and people are coming back from injuries. Honko Hermeshais will be coming back from a head knock. Uh, very important. He's he's the top try scorer for LA. Um, very, very impressive player. I feel that all that's going to add to a victory for LA over New York and continue their momentum going into the second half of the season. Now, let's take a look at our Super Brew MLR Rugby 411 pick on results for this last week. Bam. And man, look at the top. We got some impressive scores. SD Cal SDCA, I'm assuming San Diego, California guy. 9.5 takes the golden cap. He got every team right in this week's pick'em, but so also did I'm pretty bad at this. And Frisco Flame, look at you, Frisco. Went from the bottom to the top. I am impressed, brother. Good job. You both, uh, I'm pretty bad at this, and Frisco Flame also got all the teams correct. Uh, they just didn't get the same amount of bonus points as SDCA uh, guy did. SDCA guy with 9.5. Both, I'm pretty bad at this, and Frisco Flame with 9.33. Scary Larry bouncing back from a horrible week with 6.33. Harry, 5.5. And the reviewer, 812, making an appearance here in the top five with 6.5. Shocking in the rivalry between footy balls and rugby, uh, rugby union league fan. Ah, man. Uh, rugby union league fan, you, you got to do something, brother. You are, you are falling apart. You got the wooden spoon uh, this week. And footy balls with a respectable five. It's not looking good. Overall, Rugby League Union fan is still on top of footy balls, but for how long with performances like that, we shall see. Uh, moving on to now our overall leaderboard. And you see All J Long still at top, but man, that gap is, sh is getting ever so slimmer. Now with Harry, 51.5, just five and a half points uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, five and a half points behind all J Long. MSDRFC 83 behind them with 48. I'm pretty bad at this moves up a couple of spots. Scary Larry maintains the number five. Um, I drop out of the top five, unfortunately. So uh, again, anybody can, uh, can still make a mark in this. Uh, Frisco Flame made an impressive performance. Uh, the reviewer eight one two is is climbing up as well. So you know the season still it's only the halfway point. Lots of points to be scored. Lots of things can happen. All Jay Long looked like he was going to run away with this competition, but now people are knocking at the door. Harry MSDRFC. I'm pretty bad at this. Scary Larry can still run away with it at the end. Uh, remember, guys, you are playing for an MLR T-shirt of your favorite team, um, per courtesy of myself. And uh, yeah, it's, it's again, it's exciting. So don't forget to put in your picks. Uh, you have until Saturday to get them in. And uh, good luck to everybody. And again, thank you very much for checking out my video. And I'll see you guys all on the pitch.